Hey there, my YouTubers. It's me and Cass Who. I am back, y'all, with another sweet video. Y'all see the sweet video? As y'all see, I actually started late recording. I thought about it when I started putting the icing on here. But as y'all see, I have the um, red velvet, a homemade red velvet cake for one of my customers. Um, so I'm about to start icing it. Um, this particular customer is a repeat customer. And they love pecan on their um they love pecans on their red velvet cake. So the icing, the frosting I made also homemade as well. This is a buttercream frosting. So I was trying to get it real fluffy, but my mixer have went out on me and I have to go buy me a new mixer. So, you guys, um, yeah, so I'm about to start icing, and I have my, uh, cake, I should have took it off and iced it like this on the turntable, but it's okay, I'm just gonna leave it like this, um, normally I don't do it this way on the carry out tray, normally I just put it on my, um, turntable, as y'all see. This is my turntable. The turntable helps you icing easy so without touching the cake, trying to turn the cake and all that. When all you got to do is just turn this around and you ice it. But, and it don't really work good when you have this carry out flat tray. But, I can still do it like that. As y'all see, it still spins around, so. It's no biggie. But as y'all see, I already put the icing on here for the start spreading it or whatnot. Um. Yes, so before I start frosting, I do want to say if you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be alert to all of my sweet videos or any other video that I do. Sometimes I do a little um, cooking, um, I might do an inspiration video, I haven't done any lately. Um, as y'all said, I really haven't been posting lately because I've been busy with my catering business, selling cakes, cupcakes, cobblers, um, puddings. I sell everything. I make everything homemade from scratch, y'all. I do everything. So, yeah, I'm in business. Been in business three years. So, yeah. All right, y'all. So, I'm going to get started. Um, I hate that my mixer went out, y'all. It just, I mean, but this is the icing. I don't know if y'all can see my icing, but. It's very thick. I like it like that because it's easy for piping. So, I'm also going to be making some upcoming videos on um, how to frosting, uh, how to um, pipe designs on a cake. Um, y'all, in the past couple of weeks, I have been doing all type of cake. I did, I did a Tommy Hill figure cake, y'all. Oh, my God. It was so pretty. I forgot about to make a video because my customer... She took the cake and cupcake. She got a set. She got a um cake and cupcake set. Um and she was going to uh celebrate her and her son's birthday in Tennessee. So my cake and cupcake made it all the way to Tennessee. Y'all, I was so happy to know a customer was gonna take it to Tennessee. Um but anyway, I did her a Tommy Hill figure theme cake because that's what she wanted. Um, so I was like, okay, okay, okay. So, you know, let me just do the, um, yeah, I have a, a spreader, a spreader. I don't know why I'm using a spoon. I'm using a spoon, y'all, but I have a spreader. I went and brought me a, a professional spreader. Here's my spreader. Can y'all see it? This thing was $10, y'all. Ooh, being a um, baker, y'all, it is so expensive. I mostly like to use this on the outside of the cake when I start doing the cleanup around like this. The inner, inner, inner part right here, I just use a spoon. It's just better because I have to grab it, put some on. So I'm just going to do it that way. So, y'all, y'all, um... If y'all are wondering where I'm located, what state, I am in Georgia. Um, if you guys are interested in me making other desserts or um, or whatnot, be sure to comment on this video to let me know. And I'll be more than glad to do 
some desserts. Um, because I've been working on new uh, sweet items because I want to give my customer more variety to choose from instead of buying the same old sweets. Um, so yeah. So we're just going to spread this around real even before we put the other cake on top. And I like to go to the edge so when I'm going to icing the cake, um, I don't have to worry about filling in that middle part. It'll be already around the edge. So you want to make sure you level it out. So I'm not going to put no pecan in the middle part. Normally I will do that, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put the pecans inside of the icing. So here's my other cake. So I'm taking out the pan. Um, and I like to cut just a little bit off just to even it out. I don't know if y'all can see. But I like to like cut, I like to cut just this little part right here off just to make sure it's even. Um, because the ice is going to kind of weigh this cake down a little bit. Um, because it is at the bottom. And then not only that y'all, not only do I like to cut this part off right here. And you don't want to take too much off, you just want to take off just a little bit of it. Okay, so now I'm putting on a piece of paper. Um, and this is another way too to make sure you taste your product to make sure it's it's good. Um, when you cut it like this here, then not only you can use it for decoration too. So sometimes I use see right here how I got this part cut off. I just cut the top part, it broke. But it just it was a round circle. I cut off the top part of the cake. So like I said, you can use this to taste a little bit to see, make sure your product is good. That's a nice moisturized velvet cake. Okay. All right, so y'all can use that for the, like I said, you can crumble it up and use that for the, uh, the decoration of the cake if you want to. All right, so we're just going to place this cake. Can y'all see? We're just going to place the cake on top. And make sure it's even. Okay, I'm dropping cake crumb everywhere. Yeah, that cake is so moist. It's very moist. All right. So make sure y'all position the cake in the center. Press down a little bit just to kind of flatten out the top cake because you want it to be even straight across. So. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is put, I got a piping bag right here. I'm just going to put just a little bit of my cream cheese icing inside the piping bag so I can do decoration later. Because what I'm going to do with the remainder of this icing here is put pecans. Can y'all see? I'm going to put pecans inside of this here and mix it all together. So... I'm just going to pipe it in here. I don't know if y'all can see me piping it. But I'm going to do it like this here. I probably should have made more icing than what I made, y'all, uh, because, uh, okay, that's enough right there. But now my mixer's not working. It stopped on me, y'all, this morning, so I got to go buy me a new mixer. So I'm going to try to buy me a high-end mixer. All right, y'all, so here's my icing in my piping bag. Move this out of the way. 
So as y'all can see, I'm gonna put this to the side. Now I'm going to mix. I'm going to mix my pecans into here. I'm gonna say something for the top. I might garnish the top with pecan. I don't know, but I might do that. So we're just gonna mix it all in together. Can y'all see that? And y'all, my number one seller is my banana pudding, but lately here, I've been doing peach cobbler and a lot of people have been placing order for a lot of peach cobbler. I just did a peach cobbler. Two days ago, um, I did three peach cobbler Friday and Saturday of last week. I have another one doing this week. So I have a lot of orders coming in, y'all. A lot of orders. So I'm going to go ahead on and icing my cake with this here. So this is when I use my special for this hair. So you just want to start going on the side. I don't really stay focused on the top part because I want to make sure I'm covering my side even. So I start going to the side. Leave the top part alone for a minute. And I just go to the side. And once you get done icing the whole cake, just clean up around the border. So when I say the border, like where the white tray is, just clean up around that side. Ooh. I'm just dropping icing everywhere, y'all. So I will be back with the finished product. Because I'm going to be very quiet into this. So I don't want to just be quiet while I'm recording, not entertaining you guys. Um, but make sure y'all share this video with friends, family, whoever else. Um, and I will be back with the finished product. All right, YouTube. Here's my finished product of my cake. My red velvet cake for one of my customers. I do sell these. Um, so there you have it. All right, you guys, so that was my time. I thank you for your time. Until next time, I'm 